she's gonna be pretty pissed about this. Who the hell are you? Just a concerned citizen. Now hold still. He leaped toward me, his icy fingers digging into my head. For a moment there was nothing, and then he started to show me things. Horrible things. Beyond description. And in that split second, I understood he was showing me the future. Death and destruction on an unimaginable scale. As he released me, I knew that he was responsible for all of it. That he had opened Pandora's box, and it wasn't ever gonna close. And that that damn ray sphere was somehow involved. And then he was gone. Real tough guy, aren't you? On the contrary. I'm weak. Quite weak, in fact. Which is why you need to learn this lesson and learn it well. Everyone has their breaking point. You, me, even dear, sweet Sasha. What separates the strong from the weak is the ability to take the beating. Hell, to love the beating. No matter how great the pain, never wavering from what needs to be done. Think you can remember that? Screw you. I've been keeping an eye on you, Cole. Watching you parade around like a damn peacock. Showing off every chance you get. Pathetic. That's real tough talk from a guy who tortures people. You still don't get it, do you? You don't get any second chances. Every time you fail, someone's world ends. Ends in the worst way imaginable. I learned that the hard way. And by God, you're gonna learn it too. One way or another. Tell you what. Crawl out of your hole and meet me somewhere. Then we can settle this once and for all. All in good time, Cole. All Good time. You stole my childhood! My home! You dare come here! Poor, poor Alden. All that potential squandered. Your father would have been so disappointed. You dare mention my father! I'll kill you! All of you! Tear you from limb to limb! Zeke, get out of here! Run! Zeke yanked the ray sphere out of its cradle and was caught between Alden and Kessler. It was definitely time to escape. But he just stood there, petrified. You see, through the fear, he realized that the key to his dreams, the tool to make him super-powered, was right between his hands. Asshole makes the choice to kill thousands, stealing their lives so that he'll be transformed, and then... Nothing. Everyone's fine. No change at all. Kessler's first to grasp the situation. Claims to know what's wrong. If Zeke brings him the Ray Sphere, Kessler will be able to give Zeke the powers he craves. My best friend looks me in the eye and then makes his second mistake. Alden goes ballistic at the loss of the sphere. The tower shakes and it starts to rip apart. But I was just dumbfounded. Barely felt the impact. Our time together is drawing to a close, Cole. And I fear that you're still not ready to face what is coming. So I've decided to accelerate things. Evolve or die, as they say. Shall we begin? Trish means to you, 
cold how much you love her. But we all have our part to play. Even her. And that's why she's sitting here next to me. I planted a series of bombs across the city, and each is on a timer. Fail to disarm any of them before they detonate, and she dies. Cool! Bastard. I've engaged the timer on the first bomb. You don't have much time. That's five people now. Five people that will see another sunrise. But I wonder, did you save them because it was the right thing to do? Or because you're trying to protect Trish? Tick tock, tick tock. The final bomb is counting down. And it comes down to this. Your final test. From one roof hangs Trish. The love of your life. From the other, six doctors. Think of all the good they'll be able to do. The thousands of lives they'll save. Which is more important, Cole? The life of one, or the lives of many? Bombs are attached to each platform. You have time to save one, but not both. Choose. I wish there was some other way that Trish didn't have to die. She's such a special woman. But in times of war, crisis, one must learn to ignore their feelings and do what benefits the whole, not the Please individual. Get us down. No matter how painful. Trish! Time slowed down as Trish fell. All my powers. I couldn't do a thing. For a second, she sprung to life. Just long enough to say that she was proud of me for what I'd become. Proud that I was helping people with my powers. And that she loved me for it. I buried her in the park alongside others who died since the blast. Kessler's gonna pay for this. I'm gonna find that sick bastard. And I'm gonna kill him. I saw what you did for Trish. Believe it or not, I know how hard it is to bury someone you love. Especially someone as special as Trish. I'm gonna kill you, Kessler. I'm gonna tear you apart, piece by piece. Yes, you probably will. In fact, I hope you do. I've been at this for a very long time now. And I'm tired, worn out, won't be much longer now. How many lives has that thing destroyed, corrupted? I can't risk it falling into the wrong hands. But it gave me powers once before. If I use it again, it could make me twice as strong. And then no one would dare challenge me. Trish's crumpled body flashes through my head. I think of Amy, Zeke, and I hit that sphere with everything I've got. But something goes wrong. The race field cracks open, creating a vortex of energy. John's pulled in, and it tears him apart. And I run. John and the race sphere are gone, reduced to ashes. Nothing went according to plan. At least the race fear is out of the picture. I'm disappointed, Cole. The race fear was the catalyst of your powers, and it could have strengthened you even more, but you rejected it. I, for one, wouldn't have done the same thing. Yeah, well, I'm not like you. It took me a while, but I finally realized that this isn't about me, about what I want. Not anymore. It's about keeping this city safe. And once you're dead, no one will ever threaten it again. 
Excuse me. Remains to Please be seen. help. Have mercy Meet and me help at the us. Staten Building. Here we are. Back where it all started. I was so worried that you weren't going to live through the blast. But you were fine. More than fine, actually. I remember your voice now. You were there after the bomb went off. I've always been there, Cole. Every step of your life. early days, Kessler could have used his powers to stop it, but instead he fled with his family, leaving others to fend for themselves. Hunted for years, Kessler and his family watched as the rest of the world went to hell. And then it was too late. Too late to fight. Too late to save anyone. In that moment of failure and grief, he used his newest and most dangerous power. He went on a one-way trip back in time, attempting to rewrite history. Kessler seized control of the First Sons and accelerated the Ray Sphere's development. Decades spent plotting the blast, organizing the quarantine, finding me. Yet the thing that drove him forward, Kessler's sole link to the past, was a picture from his wedding day, when he married Trish, with Zeke as his best man. My brain lurched. Unable to accept that Kessler and I were the same person. That he'd come back in time to mold me into the savior he failed to be. Going so far as to kill the woman he loved, I loved, so that I wouldn't be tied down by emotions. No, Kessler wanted me strong, ruthless, so that when I faced the beast, I'd be capable of making impossible decisions. All for the common good. Kessler fell back, dead. His final message, my final message, burned into my brain. I take one last look down at myself, my future self, and turn away, the rage curdling inside. I hate everything about Kessler, but when the time comes, I will be ready. 